in this video we are going to learn how to create custom access in drupal and also if we have a module and if you want to manage all our custom accesses check in a class how to do that so first let's create a sorry let me delete all the files okay so if you have watched my videos you know that i use a custom module to experiment or explore other topics of drupal called drupal hex again i'm going to use the same module so inside this module i have a route called drupal hex underscore uh, slash home which serves this page so this page uh, this this is rendered by that controller and it on, it simply shows hello world message let me show you that controller home page controller you can see through the routing.yml file let me open that controller for you and he it is that plain controller simple controller so i'm going to apply uh, access check on this so for that we must simply provide access check access here through the property custom give me a second let me yeah so i have it here through the property custom access and it will save my time obviously of the video and your your time is there so in under the requirement section of your route you can specify the custom access class and the method you have to call to handle the access so i'm going to call the method inside the same controller class home page controller i'll save it and inside the home page controller i am going to now write that access method so i'll go i'm going to copy this here so basically uh, uh, this method uh, expects um, a con account interface this is to see if the it this is to play with the current account so this will in, uh, return the account object of the user accessing the site and uh, uh, i have included the packages in the through the use statement and since this method returns uh, object of access result which basically tells drupal to allow uh, uh, or allow access to that page or respective page or deny access to that page uh, so i here i am writing that allow if uh, the account uh, has permission view content entity you can enter any permission here i have a permission defined here called uh, view content entity so i am using that permission so i am now going to save it and now create uh, create uh, sorry clear the cache and then, then i'll see what it will do so it has cleared the cache now i'm going to go and so after refreshing you can see it has denied access to me because i don't the anonymous user has no permission of has no permission this view contact contact entity this is how we create okay this is how we create custom access through the uh, by uh, by specifying the custom access property in the requirements now uh, second thing which i wanted to discuss or tell you here is that there comes situation where where we want to manage all the accesses of a drupal project or drupal module through a custom class and or custom logic we can do that by creating a uh, creating a class let me go to my example creating a class and that class must implement uh yeah must implement access interface let me write a uh, code for you and then we'll see how it will be implemented so for that i am going to remove this code now let's write a service that service basically will okay so that service basically will 
uh, implement our custom access checker. So I'm going to write like Drupal hack, Drupal, Drupal hacks inside access folder and Drupal hacks access checker, access checker. Now, access checker, access checker will be fine. Now, I'll tag the service to. I'll tag the service to access check, and uh, we'll also write one more parameter called applies to with the name of the service Drupal hex access check. That is it. I'll tell you what this is after writing our custom class. So uh, inside the source folder, I'll create a new folder called access. And inside that folder, I'll create a file called Drupal had access check.php. I'll use the code I already have for saving the time. It is pretty simple code. So this PHP file. So inside this file, this is that uh, that uh, the class and i've told you that we have to implement access interface so i haven't implemented access interface and we have to write a met method called access inside that method again we have to specify what permission we have to want to provide uh, if we have any custom function we can use or logic we can use here and here i'm telling that if the user account uh, has this permission that allow otherwise forbidden the access as in access uh, give access denied then i'll save it and then then uh, i'll go to my routing files now instead of using that custom access uh, property or parameter or under requirements i'm going to provide um, what i have specified here in the applies to i'll copy it and paste it and set it to true and i'll clear the cache and let's see what it will do okay it has returned me an error Drupal hacks a okay sorry i have to rename this so i was using one c i'll refresh it and see what it will do it's saying that it cannot find this class so i might have provided wrong again name inside here I'm going to collect this as well. Clear the cache. Done. I'll go ahead again here. See access night. Now I'm going to provide Give me a second. Provide this permission to anonymous user. Let's go to anonymous user and provide a permission entity so my permission is uh, on which i'm checking is view contact entity so i'll provide this permission and i'll go so i now i can access the page similarly if i want to have this access uh, implemented or being called by uh, on another controller uh, I can simply, I would have to simply add this param uh, uh, parameter under the requirements, which is Drupal X access check true. So uh, I can add it to forms, I can add it to uh, collections, I can add it to entities, I can add it to services, so I can add to everywhere. So this is a common place, uh, common way if I want, uh, if I have a need of implementing a common way of uh, checking access uh to to routes or to forms 
through a common class, then uh, we can uh, do that by implementing access interface. So, thank you.